still can't believe he's gone. Don't do this. I can't either. But we gotta hold up for mom. Can you do that? I was watching that. What were you and John whispering about at the hospital? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, you no. fucking selfish prick. Let me tell you something. Mom had to bury one son because of his fucking ego. Don't make it two in the same fucking week. You don't think I don't know what John's up to? He's mind fucking you. You done? I got more to say to you. You bring any fucking pain into her house, any more than she's been through, you bring any trouble in here, and guess what? I'm gonna be the one who fucking turns your ass in. Oh, you want revenge? You're a fucking man. It wasn't about me, it's about him. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You gonna bring him back? This is a stupidity that fucking got him killed in the fucking first place. What are you gonna do? Get yourself fucking killed. Is everything all right in here? Yeah, it's OK, Mom. Yeah, Mom, we were, uh, we were just uh, getting st stirred up. We're talking about the good old days. I was thinking about having a uh, dinner for the holidays at my place this year. OK, good. Thank you. What happened to your hand? Huh? What happened to your hand? I cut it. It's no big deal. We good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Is everything all right here with him? Yes. Why do you ask? How you doing, Pop? Morning to you, son. Not so good to me. Let me get out of here. Love you, Mom. See you later, Pop. He's up on the sugar. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Mom and Pop are pretty uh, blank this morning. No. Peter could do no wrong in their eyes. You know that. He just keeps playing it over and over. It's hard to move on. They're getting better. And you? How are you doing? Different days, different feelings. So tell me, did uh, Josh tell you what happened to his hand? Oh, uh, he said something about cutting it on something, but. I don't really get into it with him. I get it. Let me get out of here. I love you. OK. I love you. Yeah, Unbelievable. Right. For six months, I heard about how I missed a barbecue. Because I'm working. It's like, God forbid. Yeah, so you better be there. <laughs> if I'm not there, 
I'm gonna have somebody kicking my ass. That's right. I mean, you know the Korean temper. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you back here. I appreciate that. You've been watching the news? What are you gonna tell me? Yeah, I watch the news, but not that much. I know. You know what the news will do to you? It'll make you quit this job. <laughs> we don't get enough bad news? Go ahead. What bad news you want to tell me? It's all over the news that the cop that shot your brother is back on the beat. Yeah. Well, that's good, because he's a cop. He's got mouths to feed. He's got a home to go home to. It's honorable to hear you say that. Don't get me wrong. I love my brother. As much as I honor this badge. But only the people who are there in God truly know what happened that night. It's not honor, it's accepting the fate of our decisions. And I gotta trust in God's will. Surrender, right? You know all about surrender, I would hope, right? Surrender. Surrender. I'm trying my best to fucking surrender. And the rest of your family, they're surrendering? <sighs> Irish Catholic families don't know what the fuck surrender means. They're surrendering to the liquor store is what they're surrendering to these days. No, they're doing the best they can. I love them. I mean, I'm trying. They're getting there. It's Josh that I worry about. What's going on with Josh? It's nothing. I just... I worry about him. All right, do me a favor. Take Detective McKenzie over to see Officer Philip. All right. Detective, sorry for your loss. Your brother and I were good friends. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's Josh being charged with? Uh, right now, we didn't put him through. All in good faith because you're his brother. Um, they found two guns in the back of a car owned by a guy named John McIntosh. The car isn't under your brother's name. You see where I'm going with this? I see. Where's John being held now? John took a run for it at the scene. He got away. Okay. Thank you. Can I get a minute with him? Sure. Take your time. I appreciate that. <sighs> What were you and John planning on doing with those guns? What guns? The guns in the trunk of that fucking car that you both were in. That's what guns. I told you before. You come in here, you bring any problems to the family, and I bust your ass myself. Do you think I was joking with you? I really didn't know there were any guns in the car. Nothing, I, I didn't know. I'm gonna get you out of this one. But if I find out you knew. Sit. We have a problem. What's the problem? Your brother has an outstanding warrant. An outstanding warrant for what? You're not gonna believe this. Josh's fingerprints were found at the scene. The detective that's accused of killing your brother. Are you fucking kidding me? The media's gonna have a fucking field day with this. I just found out how you cut your hair. What? Notify the district precinct to put the warrant out. You gotta be kidding me, man. What do you want to do about the situation? Charge him. What? Hey! Come on, man! Come on! Kevin! 